but I got lost in the sauce. Look how weird it is when I'm smiling. Ew. Hey sisters, welcome back to Sylvia's channel. Today she's gonna try and recreate the look I did on Kylie Jenner. I don't know why I thought this would be fun. I think it's one of those things, it's funnier in your head. Anyways, I thought it'd be funny, but no shade to James, we love James. We love James so much that we're gonna be recreating that glam skull look that he did on Kylie Jenner for their iconic collab. Okay, has there been a better collab on YouTube? I think not. The fact that A-list celebrities are even collabing with YouTubers is like, whoa, any of you wanna hit up my cell phone? I mean, the S Club would love to have you. We would welcome you with open arms, please. Any celebs out there, hello, very open. I'll do your makeup, anything you wanna do. <laughs> okay, anyways, now that we've shamelessly plugged myself, moving on. So yeah, so he did a great purple glam skull look on Kylie, which I love. I would love to recreate it and I feel like in the video, you know There was a lot of focus on Kylie and she was amazing and open and answering so many of his questions Which was bomb, but that didn't leave a lot of room for obviously James getting in depth on like what he was doing Because it wasn't about that. It was about Kylie So I'd love to recreate his look and try and go more in depth with it and show you guys what I'm doing And the type of products that could be used to achieve this look just in case you might want to do this for Halloween You can follow along my tutorial here today. You know, we're going as far as even trying to transform into Kylie herself. I got myself a blonde wig. I got myself James. So this is basically a tutorial if you want to be Kylie Jenner from the James Charles collab video. Easy last minute Halloween idea. But before we get started, as always, make sure you are subscribed to my channel by clicking that little red button. The Halloween videos are just getting started, honey, and you don't want to miss out on them. So subscribe so you can see when I drop them. Without further ado, let's get right into trying to recreate this look. So let's start out by putting on our Kylie wig so we can start to look like her right off the Bat. I don't really know how to put on a wig like professionally or anything like that So I'm just gonna throw it on if you need more help with this I'm sure there's tutorials out there, but I'm gonna just do my best. All right wig is on. Oh my god I am sweating already. I had to cut little baby hairs to try and make it look more legit. It's synthetic It doesn't even hold a curl. I don't know It doesn't look exactly like hers, but you get the point people will get the idea Kylie already started with like her base makeup done So that's why I already have my foundation bronzer blush brows on already basically I guess you can just do your regular makeup routine because the Halloween makeup part is mostly focusing on the eyes and of course the big glam skull on one half of our face. So let's just get right into the eyes. So I've already primed my lids, just use any old eyeshadow primer. James just started off by setting Kylie's concealer that she had on her lid already and then he went right in with the shadow. So first we're gonna grab the palette and dip into the shade Halloween. Halloween. We're gonna place this in the crease. So James used mostly Kylie's Halloween collection, but your girl still does not have her hands on that. Okay, Kylie, once again, please send me your makeup. Okay, it's so hard to get your hands on. But I'll still show you guys how you can recreate the look using, you know, whatever shadows that you have similar to it. We're gonna go in with the Morphe 35V palette and take this shade right here. Halloween is described as a soft matte peach terracotta, and I feel like it looks really red on her, so I wanna use something similar. So it looks like he's taking that all along her crease and kind of using this as a transition shade right on her brow bone. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Any really big kind of fluffy blending brush, not really big, but you know, similar size to this, would do for this. You want it to just be super diffused and soft, and it looks like this shade is pretty similar. So far, so good. Now she really has it super smoky kind of on the outer part here, so we're gonna flick that out. And he also brings it to her inner part here. When blending, you really wanna take your time with it, make sure it's nice and diffused, and then once you have a nice even kind of blend of the first layer of shadow, go back in with that same color on maybe a smaller blending brush. This one is the MAC 221. Something that you can really be more precise with it, get right into the crease, and we're gonna build that shadow up to look more like this. Now, do you see the difference? Like, we just were to leave it like that. It's cute, but it's not wow. So now concentrating on building the product just in the crease and just doing small kind of circular motions and going back and forth along the crease. So wherever that deepest part of your eye is, you know, where your lid kind of folds, that's where you want to be placing most of the product. And then once that's deposited there, you see, you can see a line there between those two blends. So we want to go back in with that other bigger blending brush and just lightly, lightly go over that to diffuse it. So now we have that perfect deeper, rich color to really soft blow outlook. So this is looking good, but it looks like it gets more and more kind of orange as he's applying it. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into a bright pumpkin orange, taking that on the smaller blending brush. And we're going to just apply that on top right into the crease and just give it a little bit more of that orange color like she has on. This looks 
She's right. It looks bomb. Oh, okay. It looks now like he's going in with the dark purple shade in the palette on the outer corner. So in that Morphe palette, I have these two shades that I'm going to mix to try and replicate the deep dark purple in the Kylie Halloween palette, which is described as a metallic plum. So placing that just on the outer corner with more of like a fluffier packing brush. So let's pack that on. Start closest to your lash line with the majority of the product and just like tapping and little swipe motions to get that initial product product on there and then just like little swooping motions to blend it. Zingam, we got some fallout. Oh no. <laughs> Don't forget to tap your brush to avoid fallout. Whoa, okay, wet in my brush to intensify that a little bit and it's really got intensified a lot. So once you got that product packed on, blend out those edges by using your brush back and forth really lightly, just being careful not to lose control of this color because it is darker, but using a flat kind of fluffier brush like this will help you diffuse those edges. Swipe that outwards into that transition shade we put on there. I'm getting a lot of fallout, so I'm gonna put a layer of loose setting powder just underneath my eye to catch the fallout. Since we already have our concealer done, it'll be really difficult to wipe those darker shadows off without ruining it, so this will just act as a little barrier. It looks like now he's applying some sort of like bronze shade on her lid. So it could be any of the ones from the palette, not sure. It kind of looks like Freak On, which is the metallic antique gold. So let's use something like that. So I'm gonna use the shade Coin from the Armed and Gorgeous palette Jaclyn Hill created with Morphe. I don't know why I'm using like all Morphe shadows today, but it just happens to be that way. I don't even have a code for you guys, I'm so sorry. So this is gonna be applied all over the lid where we haven't applied shadow yet. And then when there's not much product left on the brush, you're gonna take that really lightly and blend with the purple color. You can go back and forth between brushes to help blend seamlessly. I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna be for Halloween yet. <laughs> I always leave it so last second. Like right now I'm just mostly focusing on like what type of looks to create for you guys. And creating that type of content takes so much time. So it's like, I don't even have time to like think about what am I gonna be for Halloween? I don't know. Who knows, maybe I'll just be this. <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys are gonna be for Halloween. Maybe I'll like copy you. I need ideas, help. So there we have it. That color is on there. Looking good, looking like what she's got on so far. I'm gonna grab the shade Hex on my axe. Love that name. Hex on my axe. <laughs> Love that. On the lower lash line, I want to do like a little bit of a smoky purple moment, really just to dramatize it and also to like to tie in the whole. Dramatize, James. No one clocked you on that. Dramatize. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm known for making up words on the spot. Love that. Okay, so, oh my God, he's making me say love that. If you count the amount of times he says love that in this video, I will drink every time. That could be a game. No shade though, no shade. Every time I say bomb in a video, I feel like that should also be a thing. So he's taking again that deep, dark kind of plum shimmer shade and running that all across her lower lash line. So that's the shade we use on the outer corner here from that Morphe palette so let's go ahead and do the same thing so i'm taking that on a fluffier flat brush like this and connecting that to that smokiness that we have on the outer corner there and then bringing that all the way in honestly good for james for being able to like hold such good conversation and like ask her all these questions and like keep us all so entertained while he's doing kylie jenner's makeup and it's not even regular beauty makeup like it's halloween complex like skull makeup, honey. I don't even know. I'd be so nervous. I'd be like, and uh, uh, like, I'm not worthy. You know, I don't know that I'd be able to perform under that situation. So like, I'm just very impressed by him. Like this doesn't happen every day. You don't just get to do Kylie Jenner's makeup. So the fact that he was so like nonchalant about it. Wow, this wig is hurting my head. Why is it like, ugh, it's so tight. From the close-up picture, it looks like she has a nude eye pencil on her waterline, just cause her eyes definitely look more doll-like. And I feel like Kylie has such big eyes. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So this is gonna help make your eyes look a little bit bigger and running that right along the waterline. Damn, that got all over my lashes. I might have to put some mascara on. So going in with mascara, I'm gonna use the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I actually, I'm gonna put that on my top and lower lashes just cause that nude pencil kind of got all over my lower lashes and I don't want that. I just want it on my waterline. It doesn't look like he applies any lashes on her. It looks to me kind of like she has lash extensions cause her top lashes are so full and wispy. I obviously don't have that. So we're gonna try and replicate the wispy eyelash look with some falsies. So I'm gonna apply Lily Lashes in the style Goddess off camera, be right back. So lashes are completely on, very sparse, wispy, separated lashes. I feel like 
heck is Kylie-esque? I don't know. Obviously you can skip that step or use whatever lashes you want if you want to make it your own. I thought the shadow was done, but I do see she has a super intense inner corner highlight. I didn't really see him apply it, but I see it on her. So I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighter in Lavender Steel. I'm going to wet my brush, dip into the product, and pack on on my inner corner. And it honestly looks like she has just a regular golden inner corner highlight, but I feel like I want to commit to that purple theme. So that's why I'm using this purple highlight. I'm even going to put a little bit on my brow bone because her brow bone seems to be highlighted as well. Eyes are completely done. Let's go ahead and remove all of that baking powder and the fallout on top of it so we have a nice, fresh, clean under eye. What happened to half my foundation just got completely rubbed off. Hold please. All right, so crisis averted. We're back. Nose looking good again. So next up, let's see what he oh, does. Yeah, I think it looks super well. I would actually go out like this. That's such a compliment if she said that to me. If I did her eye makeup, oh my girl. The way he's like kept his cool, he's like, yeah, Kylie, obviously you'd go out like that. It looks bomb. I did it. So I'm gonna use a white highlighter pencil and just right above your Ow. Ear. Got that. So now I've got my white pencil, the 24-7 Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil to trace out the skull. Basically you wanna just carve out like a little skull shape. It's okay, if we mess up, we'll wipe it off and it looks like it goes again. So if you kinda just follow like the hollows of your cheeks, you can kinda get a good idea of the type of shape, but basically you're gonna wanna have like some little circular opening here and then bring it down and open again. So just do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna try and match it as best as we can. So starting going down here, there's a little dip and I'm looking at myself in the mirror straight on and just trace it and erase and try again until you get it to look relatively what you want it to look like. And then we're also gonna take that down here. He has a little white line, so it kind of looks like a skull mask. And now we're gonna create the trace of the skull nose, which he brings all the way down underneath her nose, around the sides of her nostrils. So now that we have that good trace of the skeleton shape, he moves on to doing her teeth and it looks like he's using some sort of liquid liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Too Faced Sketch Marker in pure white and we're gonna try and create little skeleton teeth. Basically, you wanna like follow what your teeth look like and create kind of little Hershey kisses as best as you can. And again, you can trace this with the crayon if you're really uncomfortable because that'll be a little bit easier to wipe off. But to save time, I'm just gonna go right in with the liquid pen. Now that I have a good outline of the teeth and where I want them to be. I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in with some white makeup paint. So let's do a quick little update on some stuff while I'm filling these in. Your girl is updating her merch. I have switched merch companies. I've heard a lot of your guys' complaints and concerns about the price and you seem to really love designs but the price is really a huge thing and also I've been having some issues with like fulfillment and shipping and all that and I just don't believe that this is the right merch company for me. So I am going to be switching over and making some changes to try and make you guys happy and basically do the whole merch thing a lot better because it was a really difficult process. It took forever and I love the stuff I came out with but I was disappointed with the way the shipping and a lot of the stuff was handled and a lot of the behind the scenes stuff with me coming up with designs. It was just a very long process and much harder than it was supposed to be and I wanna make sure that you guys know like I'm hearing you. I am gonna work on making it better. I'm so sorry if you had a negative experience with my merch and I promise that I'm working to better that and to fix it and to just make sure that I don't make the same mistakes again and to do that I'm just going to be starting fresh with a new merch company and hopefully it will go a lot smoother so I will keep you guys updated on that. I'm also going to take that same paint and just go over those lines to kind of make them more permanent and trace out that skull on my face. The inner line I guess the black parts as well because I'm actually going to use the purple shade hex on my X to blend everything in okay. so like the skull instead of just like black. Makes it more fun on some dimension. It does. That does make it more fun. So next up, James takes black and he will put it on the inside kind of perimeter of the entire skull look. And then he also goes on to define the teeth with some black. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can use a liquid liner. I'm gonna go ahead and use some black face and body paint from that Paradise brand again. So I'm gonna take that on an eyeliner brush and go ahead, start to define the inner part. He's gonna also clean up my lines a little bit. And he's just applying this anywhere where you kind of want shading to really give some dimension to this skull mask because we're gonna blend out this black with the dark purple shadow in a second. So I'm gonna take a liquid felt tip liner pen 
and go ahead and start to trace the lips with black. So taking those two purple shades that I mixed together and gonna go ahead and start filling in the skull. And to do this, I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. It's got short, dense bristles, which are perfect for blending out this liner with that purple shadow. And then when we go in with the teeth in a bit, we'll change brushes to something much smaller so we have some more precision. And just be careful not to go out of the lines, taking it back to kindergarten coloring lessons. For everybody, and I was chosen to be in this position because I feel like God knows that I'm strong. Mm -hmm. Because Aww. a lot of people... This is because I've been in the spotlight since I was like nine or but wow, like that's crazy if you think about it. Kylie has been like in the spotlight for so long. Like imagine just, I don't even understand. Being that famous is kind of like a curse, I feel like. I mean, it's amazing because you obviously have hella money, but how do you really live like a normal person? Like I always thought that with celebrities, like it'd be just so hard to live for yourself because everyone expects so much from you. Like how could you not let that get to your head, you know? It's like even if you want to do one thing, but you know everyone else expects something else from you, you're gonna let that affect like your life decision like major life decisions which sucks because normal people don't have to worry about that they just like you know worry about making themselves happy it must be hard to know how to deal with all that it's really cool how she opened up so much in this video we always see her so like scripted and just like done up it's nice to see her just have a normal conversation and like talk about herself and her life and her baby and personal things so now I'm gonna start to fill in the bare areas with a really really light hand and whatever is left over on my brush because we want it to kind of come off as like a lighter purple we're just gonna blend everywhere just really lightly so we have that nice gradient between the dark purple and like a lighter purple here and I'm gonna leave the teeth and in between the teeth for last because that is a more detailed area you want to be careful with that and just the key is just taking your time with it now taking a smaller detailing brush this is a little pencil brush from BH cosmetics I'm gonna go ahead and do in between the teeth. So now he goes in and just highlights the high points of the skull. So again, I'm gonna go in with that NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighter that we used in the inner corner. Taking that and a fluffy blending brush from Luxie, I'm gonna apply that on my chin. I'll apply that right here so it looks like it's kind of like protruding up. And then also just on the tip of my nose. And then he used more of a golden highlight on her, but again, I wanna keep with the theme of the purple, so let's go ahead and apply that as a regular cheekbone highlight. And we are almost done the look. I'm gonna apply that where the light would hit on my forehead above my brow bone. So the last step that he does is sets it onto place with some setting spray. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This prevents transferring and just keeps it on a lot longer. It's the worst when your face paint makeup starts smudging and then no one knows what you're supposed to be by the end of the night. So you need a good setting spray for Halloween. And there we have it. Alright guys, so that is the total look recreated with a little bit of a twist, you know, maybe we changed a few things here and there. Tried to do the best I could with the products I had. Definitely the hardest part, if you're a beginner, I would say is the teeth, but as long as you're tracing them with a eyeliner pencil, you can easily just smudge it until you get it right, and then you just are very careful to trace it out and you're good. Obviously, a wig and outfit, like, is optional if you don't want to completely, like, replicate Kylie, you can just do the cool glam skull and just be yourself with a glam skull, you know? But but if you want to go all out and be Kylie from the James Charles Collab, bam, print yourself out a little James on a I actually taped it to a comb, but there we go. And now I can say I'm Kylie from the James Charles Collab. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you subscribe before you go by clicking this button right here. Okay, I'm gonna wait five, four, three, two, one. Click it. And then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah. Happy spooky season. Bye.